Hi, my name's Nick. I um, own Black Label Remodeling. Basically, mainly stick to bathrooms, kitchens. Just started out. Um, but basically, anything you can do inside of a house, even outside of a house, I can basically take care of for you. How long you been in business now, Nick? I actually just started my business a little over a month ago. Um, started an LLC and kind of brand new at it. So, What was the process like getting your LLC? Um, it wasn't too bad. Basically, I kind of looked into it myself. There's a couple forms you had to fill out with the state. Um, reserving the name, actually filing for the business. Um, I actually went to an accountant and she basically took care of all the basics for me, just charged me a little bit. And she took care of it, got it all paperwork, structured me into, as an S-Corp. So. What are some of the uh, pain points you found so far in trying to get everything set up in your own business? Basically, it's a whole other aspect. Um, working for other contractors and construction companies before, it's been more of a just show up, work, do what you need to, but now there's the whole other aspect that you realize going into business, but you don't realize all the little things you have to learn on top of it, like saving receipts, what to do with receipts, um, overhead, tool expenses, tool costs, gas costs, everything you're just not used to really worrying about before, it now becomes a huge part in trying to figure out how to focus all that and where it needs to go has been kind of troubling for a while. So so how do you get your name out there? I mean, is it word of mouth or what kind of advertising are you looking to do or have you done? Right now, it's all word of mouth. A lot of friends, a lot of other contractor buddies are putting my name out there. Um, one of my next steps is actually start advertising from basic yard signs I put up when I'm working, um, business cards, just designed a logo so I can have something to actually put out there instead of just my name, something a little more catching. So for me, that was my big first thing was the actual logo before I could advertise because I didn't want to just just be Joe Schmo advertising on a sign somewhere. I actually wanted to be like, be able to be notified or designated by a certain thing. And I've always thought logos are pretty much what really makes your company in the end. So. Um, Basically, since I've just started out, it's all been word of mouth, and I haven't wanted to get too big too fast. So um, once I get comfortable where I'm at, my next step is to start pushing for advertisement, whether it's just little signs here and there, little brochures, going to home shows and advertising that way. That will be my next step. So where do you look to be in the next you know, five years with your business plan? Um, five years, I would definitely like to be out of my garage. Um, and actually have a shop, maybe have one or two employees that can take some of the burden and workload off me. Um, one of the things I've learned from starting your own business is the amount of time you have to put in that is basically unpaid time. So the coordinating on estimates, the amount of running around for parts and materials, it's, it'd be nice to be able to focus on that and have other people do work for you and then supervise it. So five, six years down the road, I would really like to see myself doing the estimates, doing the backlog, getting everything situated and basically showing up and making sure a couple guys are doing it right, doing it how I want to. So I don't have any grand plans of being a multi-million dollar company, which in the scheme of things would be nice, but I'm just really, I find that keeping it small, keeping it focused towards a one-on-one -on -one interaction with the customer, personal is definitely the way to go in my experience. All right. Appreciate your time, Nick. Thanks. No problem.